Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me back. So today's video, we are styling faux leather skirts. I just styled faux leather shackets and I'm going to style another category that will be coming up later. It is literally the year of the faux leather pieces and I absolutely love it. I mean, we see them every year, but I feel like it really expanded to much more categories like you know, shackets and jackets and trench coats and blazers, you know, of course, skirts and pants and dresses. There's just so many different variety for you to add this beautiful textured fabric to your wardrobe to add some edginess and some funness, especially for the fall and the holidays that are coming up. So if you guys want to see the beautiful skirts that I did choose, let's just go ahead and get started. Also, cheers. It is a Saturday and I'm filming. Um, it's today's my, actually my dad's birthday and I'm filming um, and I'm trying to hurry, but I had to throw this in because it is cocktail hour. So cheers to the weekends, you guys. And cheers to my dad's birthday. All right, you guys. Um, our first faux leather piece is this really beautiful black one. It is pleated. And disclaimer, they are all pleated. Um, they, I just felt like this was just the year of also the pleated skirts, obviously. Schoolgirl vibe, collegiate wear, tennis skirts. Um, so this one you guys have seen, it's from Abercrombie. It's beautiful. I love it. It's a beautiful, nice quality. And so I'm actually also um, styling these um, a casual way and a dressy way, just like I did the shackets, just to give you guys some options um, if you want to want to go both uh, routes, you know, especially you may want to have like, you know, a little edginess during the day. So this is how I would style the casual wear with this um, skirt is. So first of all, as soon as I thought about my casual wear with this skirt, I thought I want, I knew I wanted to wear my Adidas, just some really, just the really basic, you know, uh, ones from Adidas with the black stripes that I knew. Then I thought, well, I'm going to keep with the stripes and I want to throw in a striped, uh, t-shirt here. So I threw on this long sleeve one, really beautiful bell sleeves. And I thought, okay, I like that. But then I wanted to add some more to it. So I added an oversized sweater vest, really beautiful. And I specifically left it untucked because I tucked it in and I did it like the way it looked. I wanted this to be very simple and not really simple, I guess, but layered, fall appropriate, but very casual at the same time. So I left it untucked. But then I thought I needed one more layer. So I added this really beautiful red blazer. I felt it needed a pop of color and I absolutely love it. This is a thrifted piece from Liz Claiborne that I got at a thrift town store a couple of months ago. I absolutely fell in love with it. I could not believe um, I got this for a steal. It's so beautiful. It's oversized. It's so on trend, which this is probably was made like in the 80s or early 90s, I'm sure. Um, it has really beautiful gold detail. I love it. So just throwing an oversized you know, pop of color with the black and white because it was already, you know, it was already classic. You know, black and white's classic. It's, you know, it's very safe to go, but I just felt like it needed a pop of something um, with the outfit. So that is my casual wear. All right, next up for my dressy type of outfit, I actually wore this um, to dinner with my husband. Absolutely loved it. And um, I decided I was going to go with a Dalmatian print smocked blouse. Really pretty. I love the big sleeves, the smocking in the front. And then, of course, I needed another layered piece on top of it. And I wanted to go a little fun. So I decided to throw this black and white plaid oversized blazer. I just really, really loved the combination of the print and pattern. Um, I absolutely love to do that. If you guys have been here for a while, then y'all know that I do this all the time is mix and match my prints and patterns. But this is just a really fun classic, um, outfit right here. I threw some knee high boots on and that is it ladies. I mean, it can't get any more classic and polished, um, than a black and white, um, ensemble. And I did not mean to do black and white for both casual and for dressy, but I just went that route and I really, really like them both. All right, you guys. So my next skirt is an absolute favorite. If you have to choose from one of these three that I'm going to show you, this is probably the one that I would go with by far, especially if you want to get out of the wearing black. I feel like chocolate brown is the color of the season. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I'm trying to pick up so many chocolate brown colors right now. Obviously, I'm wearing this, um, this vest right here or this shirt. 
Um, and then but this skirt right here is absolutely wonderful. I have you've seen it in my Zara haul totally recommend it. I just love the color, the cut. I like the belt. I love the pleating and here in the front, but then I love how it's smooth in the back. Then it still continues the pleat on the bottom of the hem of the skirt. So for my casual wear, I decided again, I wanted to go with sneakers. So I thought of my Sam Edelman shoes. They look like they're the golden goose dupe. You can wear golden goose, whatever you have. I thought these were perfect because they had a little bit of brown in them, so it just looked so perfect. And then I decided that I wanted the top just to be a neutral color, and I wanted to go with a sweater, so I did this three-quarter inch sleeve puffy sweater, and this was my casual wear. Super nice, super pretty. Um, the color palette is just super fun and easy for the daytime, but you still look so stylish and chic all at the same time. So for my dressier version, I decided that I wanted to do a print, so I decided to go with a leopard print top. Really, really beautiful as well um, to pair it with this chocolate brown. So this is what I feel like. A lot of people, when they see a leopard print, they just immediately go to black. They want to put on a black skirt, black pants, whatever, because I would probably do the same. But I knew that I want to do something different with this chocolate brown and make it stand out instead of doing just black. I have actually worn this skirt several times and I have worn it with a, a white uh, bodysuit and a black shirt. But I decided that I wanted to pair a leopard print. Like I said, most people would go with black on bottom, but I felt this chocolate brown really complemented this pattern so well, and it just pulls out the brown in the, the leopard, and it just looked so nice, and I loved it. And since I was really focusing on the shirt and the skirt, I felt like the shoes should just be very simple, so I just did a pair of black knee-high boots. Simple, easy, uh, because the two um, top and bottom are going to speak for itself, ladies, but it's super fun. I love it. Okay. My next skirt is for the gal who likes more of the lighter neutral colors. It is really beautiful, creamy um, skirt. Absolutely love it. It's really, really beautiful. It's soft. Um, the only thing is, is that it's a little big on me. And they did not have another size. I like to downsize on my faux leather pieces because they typically have some stretch. Um, so keep that in mind. In my opinion, I always downsize. So if I'm a really a small, I will go down an extra small. And an extra small typically fits me really, really nice. But this is a small. Um, if it's a little big, but there's nothing that a belt can't fix. And I really liked it. So I paired this skirt for my casual wear. Um, I decided to do a, um, a cream button-up. And then I layered it with this really fun polka dot sweater on top, left it out, loose, simple, easy, and then I threw on some lug boots because I absolutely knew when I wanted to pair this as a casual way, I knew the lug boots were going to be a part of this skirt. So it all looked so fun. I loved it, especially if you're going for that monochromatic cream look. Right here is all you need, this and then the lug boots is a perfect pair and also the lug boots are definitely a must-have for this the um the fall and winter time i got these early this year that you're going to see in a video and um, i know they still have them in stock and they also have them in a black version which i'm thinking about getting but if you want to go away from black and do something different definitely get the cream color so for my dressier version, I decided that I wanted to stay in the neutral kind of realm and I decided to do a white bodysuit, ribbed bodysuit, and then I threw over this cropped muscle sweatshirt on top and I tucked that inside um, this, I feel like it needed something. So I got a clear belt and I wrapped that around, tucked this inside, super simple, easy, but very fun. Um, for any kind of daytime or nighttime, whatever it might be, because it's more of a casual vibe. And I did some western boots, some ankle western boots with it, and threw on a hat, and that's it. 
All right, you guys, that is it. Those are my six outfits on how to style faux leather skirts. So you have a black version, you have a dark chocolate brown, and then you have a cream one. So you get all of a variety of colors. I would love a pop of color though, but I have not found, um, I would love a purple like faux leather skirt. I have not seen that. If you have, let me know. I would love to get something like that uh, to wear for the fall time. So I think that would be really, really fun. But right now, if you're going for those neutral vibes, black, chocolate brown, or cream are definitely the way to go, especially if you're a little scared on how to add faux leather pieces into your wardrobe. But this is just a fun way to um, add it and make your outfits um, exciting, I guess. <laughs> um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and I hope you get inspired by the way I style these pieces. Um, other than that, I hope um, you will like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. I would greatly appreciate it so, so much. Um, and that is all, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Somebody told me that I talk too much. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to take a tarp.